No, no, before even say hi. Read this, please. You reading this? Can you see Vintage Travel? In case you don't know this band, please go now immediately to Spotify or YouTube or whatever you use and check that out. Amazing band, amazing sound, but, but not only the band, not, not the music, it's the show. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable show. I have a chance to, to go yesterday with my wife to watch the band playing live here in Santander and it was it's 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 for sure maybe the best show I've ever seen in, in my life uh, it's unbelievable unbelievable band uh, but I have to dedicate this episode of Drastic Sunday to Richard Danielson uh, my new buddy <laughs> from, it, it's the drummer from Vintage Travel and I have to dedicate this because yesterday he really gave me a hand uh, and uh, we were capable to go to the concert just because he helped us with that and and without even knowing me from before right? just wrote him and he, he really helped me he was, he's such a, a great guy and he, he showed me again that drummers are awesome <laughs> and this is an amazing family and and I'm really happy to be to be a part of, of this family and so Richard I suppose you're not watching this but anyway thank you so much for your help and for being such a great guy man. in case I can help you with anything you know uh, about drumsticks maybe I don't know but um, you, you know you can count on me man just give me a call or a message or whatever you need I'm with you okay uh, so now um, welcome again to drumsticks and the channel uh, Alberto Iglesias and you know a different pair of drumsticks every week so this week I am uh, answering a request uh, from my friend Christian Hill uh, that when, uh, I, when he was watching the American Jazz One video he wrote me a comment and, and said man when you have a chance um, please can you can you try the Manhattan 7A from Vader um, because I was talking about busy grooves and you know that kind of a lot of movement a lot of notes and all that that kind of grooves and I think the American Jazz are great for that too, not only for jazz. And he told me, man, uh, the, the Manhattan 7A, is, this, the, these are the drumsticks that um, Nate Smith is using this, this uh, model. And if you don't know Nate Smith, please check that out too. Amazing uh, time control and, and subdivisions and all that. It's, he's a beast, amazing groove. And well, apparently uh, Christian, uh, is, is interested in, in this model so uh, I've been using this model for this week and I'm going to talk, talk about that okay but before starting here you have uh, as always the picture of, of the drastic so you can have an idea how there here you have it. So, uh, this is the 7A Manhattan. I'm going to start with the sizes and all that. This is a, uh, well, uh, 0 0.54 uh, uh, or 5 uh, 0 .5, uh, 540 <laughs> inches um, standard 7A. And the length is 16 inches. Okay. Uh, well, the tip is smaller round as you can see and the taper it's kind of medium but I would say maybe long even but between medium and long okay it's hickory and it's beta motor okay uh, what else let's explain a little bit and all that stuff uh, well the, the 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 grip or the thickness is standard 7a okay it's 0 0.54 uh, standard 7a it's up to you if it fits you or not that's your decision uh, about the length, this is more interesting. It's a standard uh, 16 inches. A standard, not for not for a 7A. Uh, as you know, the 7A are shorter than, than the standard 16 for a 5A or something, or 5B. So we here we have a 7A, but with the length or, of a 5A, uh, for example. So, uh, pretty interesting. 
Uh, well, about the tip is just a small round. It's kind of between. It's I would say that it's in the middle between round and and barrel or something like. That. It's maybe half barrel. I think they sometimes they call it half barrel or something like that. But it's pretty small. And the neck and the taper are uh, well. The neck it's super thin as you can see, and uh, the taper well it's uh, something like between medium and, and, and long. I would say. Uh, okay, let's talk about it. what's my feeling about this. I've been using the, these drumsticks for the whole week and then uh, I play a gig on Friday night with, with this pair. Um, so about the, the grip or the thickness, as you know 7A is not my favorite size. Uh, it doesn't fit very well in my hand, but uh, as I always say too, it's kind of, uh, I feel like it changed a little bit the way I play when I have uh, thin drumsticks in my hand. So especially for soft styles, like in my case now with, I don't know, Swing or Bossa Nova or even Volero or something like that. Uh, it puts me in a different state of mind, I think. So I try I usually use this uh, 7A for that. Uh, or maybe a combination between that and the 5A just stick. Um, so, uh, well, that's about the grip. My main problem with the 7A, as you know, is that when I started using 7A, I ended up playing super. In, in the end, I, I grip the uh, 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 the drumstick just in the end, and I don't I don't feel really comfortable with that. At least not for now, I, because my technique is is is. Isn't it? I prefer to, to use it like, like maybe like this or something like that. Um, so, uh, but what happens is that when with uh, longer drumsticks, even with a 7A uh, uh, thickness, uh, I don't have that problem so much. I think I, I can I think the point of, of you know the balance is different in the drumsticks. So uh, I can I can. I can play with this um, with this combination of thickness and length. Okay, it feels better for me. Um, in fact, if you remember when I was testing the seven A from Vincent, all that combinations of models, I ended up deciding to use the seven A XL, which is the model that you normally use with seven A instead of the standard seven A. Because because of that, because it's longer, it's also. Seven, uh, sorry, 16 inches more or less, as you can see here. So uh, it feels better. Uh, it's kind of uh, the full chrome is different. I don't know, but it feels better for me. And I don't have to take uh, to pay so much attention to hold the, the drumsticks, to avoid the drumstick to sleep, to sleep in my hand and all that. So just to sum up, uh, that combination of 7A and standard 16, let's say, feels. Uh, um, feels better in my hand for me. I can work with that without any problem. But for me, the the key point of these drumsticks, I would say, that it's the tip. I really, really love the tip. Um, I love the tip because of the sound. First, it's super small, focus sound, um, great response to you know less um, influence of the angle. Even I, you know, I know that it's not completely round, but anyway, uh, you, don't have, you don't have so much surface here, so you can combine that, and it's it's great. And so both things, I think, it helps for that kind of styles because if if, if you have uh, um, more definition in your sound, when you have a lot of notes, consecutive notes, it's easier if you have more definition to 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 hear that all the notes. Because if you, especially if you are playing in, in the cymbal, maybe the right or, or, or even the hi-hat, uh, if, if, if the cymbal opens too much with every stroke, uh, it, everything blends more, it's kind of, uh, you, you, can hear, you hear more uh, the combination of the sound, but not each note. So, and, and for that style, I think it's great to hear the notes. That's the point of all that notes together. So. Um, I think this this uh, tip works really re uh, great for that. And of course, if you are playing busy grooves, super fast grooves with a lot of notes, sometimes it's kind of harder to to maintain the angle and and, and the, that consistency. 
so with this kind of tip, it's not it, it, the, the angle is not is not going to have so much influence in the sound. So I think it's it's a great tip, honestly. Um, I really love it. Um, about the taper, of well, it's it's medium to long, so it works also great for the rebound, helps you with the rebound and all that stuff. So honestly, when I started using it on Monday, uh, I feel out seven A again. It's not my thing. It's when you play kind of rock or something like that, it's I feels not so much sound, all that stuff. But the more I use them, the more I, we become friends. <laughs> and uh, I have to say that it's a great drumstick, and I completely understand why Nate Smith is using it because it feels great. I think it it, it works really really great with with with. Uh, his style. Uh, maybe the only thing I don't like about the, the the model, not the model. I think it's a problem with the um, with the finish of Bader in general. I think I've, I've mentioned this in the in the past that the kind of I don't know the wax or the I don't know, the, the finish they apply to the drumsticks. It doesn't work really well with my hands. Um, I don't know, maybe the pH of my hand or my sweat or I don't know, but um, uh, it's not, uh, I feel like it's too dry for me, maybe I would say. Um, so it's all I have to say. Concretely in this pair, and I, I always try to be honest with you, uh, as you know, uh, this pair, as you can see, is not completely uh, straight. Um, it's kind of I don't know if you can notice that, but it's kind of a little bit of curve here. Well, I, I think maybe that's something that can help happen with a despair or I don't know. I don't want to be too, too uh, critique with this because it can happen with any company. But well, at least it's something you have to consider it when you are um, getting a pair of drumsticks. In my case, I ordered this online, so I just received this pair. I don't have any, any way to, but you have to check that out. If you are buying a pair of drumsticks in the um, in your shop, uh, check that out. Don't forget to check the, that they are completely straight, okay? And that's all I have to say. I think they're really, really great drumsticks, honestly. Uh, it's a great, I, I didn't knew about them. Uh, so thank you, Christian. It's, it's a great, uh, great choice. Now we have, remember, we have three choices depending on the thickness for, I mean, for BC groups, okay, for that kind of style. 7A, if you like 7A, if 7A is, is your thing, you have this option, okay, with small tip and all that stuff. Uh, if you prefer, I mean, if, if five, uh, 5A works better for you, that thickness is better, you have the Vincent Jazz Stick 5A, which is that idea. It's, 5A, but then longer, uh, super long taper, small tip, all that stuff. And then even if 5A is not enough and you prefer 5B and think because of your, I don't know, your hands or whatever, you have the uh, Bigfoot American Jazz 1, which is the same idea, but it's with uh, the 5A thickness. So it's up to you to decide what works better, okay? That's all for for this week. I hope you like it, Christian. Uh, and the rest, of course. And for the next week, I'm going back to Promark this time, and I'm going to test this uh, uh, classic 5B, okay, from Promark. Uh, forget about the 5 rent theme, because it's, I think it's not important now for, I just want to try the, the classic uh, model from Promark. And I'm gonna have a chance to explain you a little bit about the uh, classic, well, the, the Promark thing, they have, a, I think, a pretty cool thing with uh, the models and tips and combinations, uh, but I'll explain that the next, the next week, okay? So, have a nice week. Uh, don't forget, please, vintage travel, okay? Now, now, when, when, just when I stop, go to the, uh, to Spotify or Pandora, whatever you use, and, and check this band, please, and, and, and you're gonna freak out with the music and the, 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 the power and all that stuff, okay? Don't forget about that. 
See you in seven days, okay? Keep practicing, please. Keep drumming and keep learning about drumsticks, okay? Goodbye.